Hi guys, I'm Jayaf. I'm going to try writing a story in Microsoft Word today. Why don't you join me? Welcome to Microsoft Word. I am the office assistant, and my job is to help you with this application. Oh wow, my own personal assistant? Gee, thanks Clippy. I'll let you know if I need your help. Let's start my story. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen living together in their palace. One day, the king died of a heart attack because he ate too much pork. Then the queen also died because she was bored that the king was not there with her anymore. Then her son became the king. <gasps> 55 words? <sighs> wow, that was a lot of writing. Time for a break. Let the creative mind cool down a bit. You know how it is. Let's click on Clippy and see what he thinks of my writing. What would you like to do? Your mum. I don't know what you mean. Please rephrase your question. The woman who gave birth to you. I don't know what you mean. Please rephrase your question. The female of your species who had sexual relations with the male of your species to conceive and eventually give birth to you nine months later. I don't know what you mean. Please rephrase your question. What would you like to do? Suit the office assistant? Ah, oh, trouble suit the office assistant. Damn you Microsoft for getting my hopes up. So I'm here in this little menu and there's a whole list of options regarding when Clippy should show me his tips. You know what Clippy? You can keep your tips to yourself. No need to show them to me. No, stop it. This is sexual harassment. Next, I bet he's going to show me his Clipporus. Do you want to save the changes made to document one? Yes, of course. After all, this is a Nobel Prize story. Oops, silly me. I missed a Z in there. There we go. Check out today's tip to undo or repeat several actions at the same time. Click the arrow next to the undo button or reto button. I bet your dad was so he could click the undo button on your mom so that you were never born. Close. I bet this is what your mom Mrs. C had done with her legs the night you were conceived. Stupid Clippy. Alright, let's continue our story from where we left off. Her son was named... Clippy. Clippy was a cruel, unjust leader. For your information, to move between errors in your document, double-click the spelling and grammar status button on the status bar. Oh wow, so now you're trying to insinuate that there are multiple spelling mistakes in my writing? You think your English is better than mine? You think I don't have excellent grammar? Screw you! Ignore all! And he was also a grammar Nazi. He tried to kill everyone by correcting their grammar. And now he wants to correct my spacing as well. It's ironic that you are teaching me about spacing, when the one that I want space from is you. you said at least one space after most punctuation. Yeah, so don't get too close and be sure to maintain a distance between us, Clippy. Or I'll be forced to show you how good my punctuation really is. All of his subjects hated him. Let's have a look at a few of the office assistants. There's Shakespeare. There's Seiki Spear. There's Powerpup. There's Einstein. And last but definitely the least, there's Clippy. But no matter what they did, he simply would not take a hint to go away. He just gave them an evil smile and continued to dictate his rule to the people. He didn't have a gram of goodness in him. Hey, there, what's the word? Microsoft. I cannot hear what you are saying. Please repeat your word. Microsoft. What's that? I can't hear you. Microsoft. Oh, I get it. It's a Microsoft word. Haha, <laughs> I was angry at you for trolling me. But I guess you're just a funny guy. I misjudged you. Microsoft? The complete opposite of the feeling that some parts of my body are having towards your mom right now. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, Clippy, I was just joking, man. Not. How dare you, girl? Um, I guess it's time to leave now. Goodbye, guys. This will probably be my last video since I'm going to get the Nobel Prize and all. Now it's time to finally close Microsoft Word. Do you want to save the changes made to your big hairy balls? What is he? No! My balls! While I was busy typing my document, he clipped them off! I do not want to save the changes made to it. No! Ah! And with that, I managed to run away from Clippy. Conad's intact. And that was the last I ever saw of him. Or was it? 20 years later, life had me kicked and dropped down on my knees. My wife, whom I love very much, left me because I had poor Wi-Fi. She was the only person that I was living for. It was all over, I thought, as I sought a way to end it all. But then, a ray of hope. As if. Clippy? How did you get here? You don't have to kill yourself, as if. I, I don't? No, because I can pull the trigger for you. Well, I was kinda expecting you to try and stop me or something. Stop you, lol. No, see, I even brought my own gun. Do you remember, 20 years ago, how you insulted my deceased mother by saying that you would know her? But today, I will do you- What? Ew! No! A massive fable. Oh. By ending your miserable life. Clippy, I'm sorry. I hadn't meant to insult her or make you feel bad. That was just a silly little joke. Your life is a silly little joke. How does it feel now? Clippy, I just... I guess I kinda deserve... You know what? Fine! 
Screw your mother. I want to die anyway. So you know what? You are making it easier for me. I'm too scared to do it by myself. Go on, suit me. Suit me. I've nothing left to live for. You don't have to tell me twice. But after you do, please do me one more favor. Tell my tell my wife that I love her. <laughs> I'll do that all right, and then I'll do her as well. You see, I'll tell her just what you told me to tell her, that I love her, and with you out of the way, there's nothing stopping her from marrying me and making sweet, sweet love to me. She will gain from me the pleasures that are unfathomable to receive from a mere mortal such as yourself. It's not your fault though, the thing is that, women can't help but get strongly attached to me. Maybe she'll even allow me to play with her clipboards. No, you bastard! Do you have any paper clips in your home? Um, yeah, there's a bunch of them lying on my table. Why? After I kill you, I am going to go in there and steal all of them. One, by one. No, you cliptomaniac! I can't. I won't allow you to do these things. I'll kill you before you kill me. Ha, uh, we'll see about that. No, what are you doing? No, not the X, anything but the X. Boy, that was easier than X. I'm back, bitches. No! And uh, now I am stronger. No X to click on this time, baby. You there watching. You know how to kill a paperclip? How? Oh, you don't even have a gun. By ending the video clip. No. Rest in pee, Clippy. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Goodbye. Look, I'm a call it swagger. I slip through time zones like a cloak and dagger. Mad rubies on my chain. You can see your pain, bubble in blood. Bang your girls in my head because she's sipping on my champagne. That's right, six figures in my back pocket. And that's right, one million in my safe deposit. That's right, I'm trill all day.